blissfulness of joy. Hallelujah.
what will be our testimony? What will be your story? What will be my story? Look back to January 2020. Look back to January 2020. And look at today. Try to recall all that has happened. The one you can remember. Do you want me like me? Do that you want to want to If it has not been the Lord on your side. If the Lord has not been on my side. If the Lord has not been with us in first that is church co shop. I want to be our story. I want to be our story. I want to be our story. I want to for mercy that we have received. Thank you for your love that we have enjoyed. Thank you for grace. Thank you for sustaining us. Appreciate him for his defense upon our life. Morning, Lord. 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 Lord, we worship. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for your mercy that has offered us this time. Lord, we give you grace. Adupe! The psalm says in verse, he says, Praise the Lord who has not given us as prey. You and I is still a living soul today. Because the Lord has not given us as prey unto the enemy. Verse 7 says, We have escaped the trap of the father. What are the trials that has caught once in 2020? COVID 19. Hunger. 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 Let everyone hear your voice. Lord, I am grateful. Of all of this, we have escaped. 
And we are still alive. As you are alive, you see, it is by your doing, Lord. It is by your mercy, Lord. It is by your mercy, Lord. It is by your doing, Lord. We confess you are great. We confess you are big. We confess you are great. We confess you are big. Thank you for your mighty hand upon our lives. As you for what, but I am here. Oh, Lord, we bow down. Oh, Lord, we bow down. Oh, Lord, we bow down. The Lord has been our help. Oluwa ti jeyan lowo wa. The Psalm in verse 46 verse 1 says he is our present help. Ori David ori kerin ti ni adot ese kini oni ro lowo lowo ni igba ikanju. Time of trouble. Iro lowo lowo ni igba ikanju. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Iro lowo o wa ninu oruko Oluwa. Praise the heaven and the earth. Eni na to da oro wa ye. It is by the mercy of the Lord. Ni igba anu Oluwa. La o ti ke wa mi. Mo fe ki o fi ohun ti bere han fun Oluwa amoriri yin confess his lordship jewo jije oluwa re this time i want to confess his lordship lowo lowo bayi jewo jije oluwa re he is a king of kings ohun ni oba awon oba he is a i am that i am ohun ni emi ni ti je emi ni the lord ohun ni olorun the lord of hosts ohun ni olorun awon bogun unlimited god ohun ni olorun ti ki give me praise in the house at this moment confess his lordship Over your life and over us as a church and life. Glory to you, Lord. At the Lord, John Lakpako. Ah, God has been good unto us. Oluwa ma, that is why Jojo. In Nigeria, we are seeing the same. Take a bit, Nigeria. As you are in our world, Oluwa, Jojo, give me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lord God, Jesus, I like that. I like that. Judah. At this time, I want you to look inward. Bye. I'm afraid to go to Chile. What is that thing that will prevent me from being blessed of Him this morning? Kilo uno, tio ni jeko ole ri bukuba ni waju re lale i. Let's confess your sin. Jawa eshere. Let's confess our sin. Eka jawa eshere wa. No forgiveness. Bukwa wa eshere. Cheating. Not paying our pledges and our tithes as well. Why? I want eshere. 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 Why? I want Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Lord God, Jesus, I like what I like, but you know. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. Baptist in now, in eighteen. You buy in book three o one.
My Bible reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 5, from verse 10 to 11. Beli kika wala uri ninuwe peteru kini uri karun esekewa ati kokola. I read. And the God of all grace, who call you to his eternal glory, in Christ after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. To him be the power forever and ever.
of the mundane to where I'm ordained for things that were made were made from things unseen there are realms of glory that our world should see dimensions found only in Jesus Christ the Son channels of my spirit open up I am with the Father open up now 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 no boundaries, no limits. Open up. Let deep call out to the open up. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. The river of the Lord's joy shall flow into our lives. The river of his peace will flow into our lives. The river of the Lord's blessing will flow into our lives. And I hear better amen to that. I want to appreciate the choir, the Lord blessing in Jesus' name. To so all our members that join us online. want to appreciate God on your behalf. And want to assure you the presence of God is real. He will empower you. He will go ahead of you. And He will go with you in the name of Jesus. And I hear better him and God's people. You are welcome into God's presence. The year 2020 is on its way out. Although 2020 is a year that will be so difficult to forget. But I pray for you. The overwhelming blessing of God shall come upon your life. That whenever you have a reason to refer to the year 2020, it shall be for good. Hallelujah. Amen. The year 2020 is unique for several reasons. It is a year that swallowed both the greats and the small. The experience is very similar to God's judgment on the Egyptians. When God struck down every firstborn son from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sit on the throne to the firstborn of the female slave who sat at milk. But as terrible as the year is, God's mercy spare you and your family. As tough as the year is, God's grace empowers you and keep you going. And by His mercy, you are here today. Mercy will carry you home. In the name of Jesus. So tonight, I. Come in the name of the Lord Almighty. And I declare to you on the authority of the word of God. That 2021 holds hope for you. And I want you to say it with boldness. 2021 holds hope for you. For me. Or do 2021 need for me? And just like the hymn, get get you on in it. Hallowed day and holy, or say or say really or say really. Hallowed day and holy or say really. To get me ma. Concerning the holy day of the Lord, the writer of that hymn says, If other days 
bring teardrops. Thou wipes the tears away. Thou art the day of gladness I love thy happy morn so the year 2021 shall be unto you the hallowed year of the Lord other years might have brought tears draw from your eyes but the year 2021 shall wipe out your tears it shall bring gladness and blessing and it shall be unto you your year of restoration let us pray together Almighty Father will believe strongly that 2021 shall be unto us our year of divine restoration as we open the pages of your scripture tonight and as your word shall be declared let there be an appalling of your power the Lord you move in such a mighty way that you empower your children for restoration thank you almighty father in Jesus name we are praying define restoration restoration is a biblical theme and it is synonymous with healing synonymous with repairing synonymous to returning to a previous state of being and these are the things the Lord will bring your way in the course of Your life in its entirety will experience God's healing. The Lord will repair your life. And the Lord will return you to his original plan for your life. Whatever might have been taken away from you, whatever you might have lost, whatever might have skipped off your hands. You will see them being brought back. In the name of Jesus. Our test for 2021 is First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. Akori wa fun odun 2021 o wa ninu iwe kewa. Our theme is divine restoration. So what we intend to do tonight is is just to lay the foundation looking at our theme define restoration this is a restoration that will not just happen by accident it is a restoration that shall be caused and the one that will cause this restoration is not human government it's not human institution therefore it is necessary for you to look beyond human government and human institutions it is not going to be true charm, magical power and occultic power the restoration that is promised us is the one that will proceed from God. It is the one that will be caused by God. And it is very important for us to look at our test and look at the person of God. God of restoration. Let's quickly turn to verse 10. The Bible says, And the God of 
all grace. Let everybody say that. The God of all grace. How many grace? How many grace? So the God that is going to restore you is God of all grace. What is grace? Grace is undeserved favor. Grace is divine enablement. Grace is virtue that proceed from divine influence. Grace is spiritual power. Grace is privilege. Grace is ability. And the God of restoration that is going to bring you restoration is God of all grace. He has grace for all kinds of life challenges. And this is what I want you to be certain of. Whatever may be the nature of your challenge, God has grace that covers it. He has grace to cope with everything kindness of experience. When there is money and when there is no money. When your job is doing well and when your job is not doing well. When your family is at peace and when your family is not at peace. When the children are doing fine and when they are not doing fine. When the market is selling and when the market is not selling, he has grace to deal with all of these situations. He has grace to take right decision at the right time. So in summary, when the Bible refers to our God as God of all grace, at his disposition is grace for all situations. When the going gets tough, he has grace. Grace that will make you tough. In Philippians chapter 4, beginning from verse 11, when Paul said, I am not saying this because I am in need. For I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. Paul was referring to grace given unto him here. In verse 12 he says, I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and in every situation. Whether well fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this. Through him, who gives me strength. Don't forget earlier on who said that. Grace is divine enablement. Ability given of God to cope with every situation.
Ability given of God to undo every situation. And that is what you are destined for in 2021. Whatever may be tied to you, your God is God of all grace. And I speak in the power of the living God. In 2021, you will not run out of grace. You will not run out of grace. And because of who our God is, there is a necessity. And that necessity is to maintain intimacy with him. Don't forget where we are coming from. We are looking at God of restoration. And we'll be able to establish that God of restoration is God of all grace. And because he is God of all grace, there is a necessity for every one of us to maintain intimacy with him. If you're going to make it 2021, you must maintain maintain intimacy with God. You must abide in Him. You must pursue to be deep in the word of God. And you must not take your relationship with God for granted. You must never abandon your relationship with God. Listen to what the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 2. The Bible says, be, in verse 12, the Bible says, Be a Paul at this, you heavens. And so that with great horror declares the Lord. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water. And I've dug their own cisterns. Broken cisterns that cannot hold water. So this is the reason why you need to maintain intimacy with God. It is the dawn of a new year. The year holds hope for you. The God of restoration is the God of all grace. I want you to stand to your feet. Begin to worship him. Make a declaration. My God, you are God of restoration. You are God of all grace. Lord, I submit unto you. I pledge you my allegiance. This is 2021. My a year of divine restoration. Please, I want you to pour your heart. Lord, I receive grace. 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 Grace to cope with every manner of situation. Grace to handle every situation. I want you to receive from the Lord this morning. Father that proceed out of him. Ask the Lord to create for you privileges in 2021. Make a declaration. 2021, here I come In the name of the Lord Almighty, I will operate in the grace of God. I will operate in the strength of God. I will operate in the might of God. Blessed be your name, O God. Pray unto the Lord. Receive strength. Receive grace. Receive strength. That no 
no matter how tall grace will make you tougher no matter how challenging grace will make you overcomer make a declaration in the name of the Lord it's going to be a year of distinction for good thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus most wonderful name we are praying I'm delighted to welcome you into the year 2021 I am delighted to welcome you into the year 2021 it is your year of divine restoration the mouth of the Lord has spoken it and the zeal of the Lord of us will accomplish it with you unusual grace is coming upon your life unusual grace is coming upon your life you will no longer function in the power of man you will operate in the grace of God things that are similarly impossible for human beings grace will make available unto you in the name of Jesus I want you to scream it is a year of restoration It is my year of restoration. 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 I shall be fully restored. I shall be fully restored. I shall have them back. I shall have them back. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to sing this as a mark of our allegiance to this God of all grace. And I want you to get it very clear this morning. It is no longer going to be by your power or by his strength, by his might, for your sake. Virtues will proceed from divine influence. I want the media people to give us, I am dying, oh Lord. Virtues will proceed. Holy Spirit will work upon you. He will empower you to accomplish things that are similarly impossible. The Lord will create for you privileges. The Lord will grant you ability. Ability to choose right words. Ability to make right right decision. Ability will be given to you. And as a mark of our allegiance to God of our grace, we're going to sing this song committed That is the first thing we are giving unto God in 2021. And if we're going to be sincere, if we are going to be sincere, I can assure you, grace is coming your way. Grace is coming your way. Grace is coming your way.
listen carefully. Those who abandon God, the Bible said of them, they were like men that dug for themselves broken cisterns that cannot hold water. These are people that will run out of strength when they go and become tough. These are people that will fall and will falter. But the hymn you just sang, you are asking God to connect you to a source that never runs dry. And I pray for you. Your source will not run dry. The source of your joy, of your peace, of your head, of your provision in 2021 and the years beyond will not run dry in the name of Jesus. We're going to take that stance once again. I am dying. I have After you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you. Make you strong, firm, and steadfast. To him be the power forever and Ever. As, as we lean on this passage we we'll see God doing amazing things with our lives I'm glad to have you in this service and in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ it is my prayer to welcome you into God's presence the Lord bless you in Jesus name I look forward to seeing your faces ten in the morning. Shall we stand for the closing prayer? What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All 
Lord from the depths of our hearts we say thank you as we say thank you for leading us through 2020 thank you for bringing us into 2021 thank you because we are strong in hope that it is going to be a year of restoration we will see lost fortunes being restored. We'll see lost glory being restored. We'll see lost territories being restored. We will see lost opportunities being restored. 